up y'all? It's your girl Katie and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so guys, today's gonna be a super fun video and I've been planning this for a very, very long time. So to be able to actually sit here and do it is a great accomplishment. I would kind of call this a paint with me today, but except instead of, instead of painting a canvas like this, which yes, I'm using my old painting for. I will be painting some shoes. Um, you know, you see these customized Air Forces all over the internet and um, they're just so much money. So I was like, I don't wanna spend 250, 200 dollars. Why don't I just make them myself? You know what I'm saying? So let's pull them out. We got some brand new Air Forces. And then I also, fun fact, was planning on doing this with stencils and like paint markers. So I thought this was gonna be a fun, easy time. Turns out the stencils bleed and the paint markers absolutely suck. So we're not gonna use either of those. And thank God I tested them out on like paper before. So for example, this was the rose. Like what rose looks like that, you know? Basically what I had to do or what I figured out that I was gonna do for this video is in order to make the butterfly symmetric, which this was my sample butterfly. This is the color I'm gonna use. This is what I practiced. In order to make this symmetric, I'm gonna use the stencil, use the outline of the stencil, but then fill in the butterfly and the lines and everything myself with like Sharpie and stuff to make it um, precise. We're just gonna hope that it turns out like that. Jake! Do you have a pencil? Okay, I think I have an idea. Okay, all right. Oh, all right, so what I figured I'm gonna do, here's my first two. Ba -da -da! Um, so I'm going to be doing on the left side, this big butterfly, just the outline. I'm not doing the inside. In the middle, and then two, kind of a medium one, and a small one on the other side. So we're gonna be decked out in blue butterflies, but I'm super excited. We're just gonna try our best to stencil this out with the pencil first, just so I can get like a good idea of where the black outline is gonna be going. Also guys, um, I got like leather paint markers and like I said, they sucked. So I'm just gonna be using regular acrylic paint and just hoping that Hoping that all goes well, you know? So I am going to do the outline, outline it in black, and then do the ombre in the middle of the butterfly. And then I'm going to draw in all the lines. But I'm not going off of the stencil. I'm going off of a picture of how to draw the butterfly I found on Pinterest. Oh God, this is this is gonna take a minute. I just really have to make sure I don't rush myself because sometimes when I'm filming videos like these, I have a tendency to rush myself. So I'm just gonna try my best to take my time. You know, if we go until midnight, we go until midnight. All right. Oh, that's gonna We're even, let's try to darken it maybe. It's okay, it's just an outline. It's just an outline. this point we're just gonna have to go with it <laughs> we're just gonna have to go with it all right this is the very light stencil I have um so I'm gonna finish the stencils on the other side try to sharpen them up a bit both shoes of course and then I'll be back because I don't want half the video me just drawing the stencil <laughs> all right guys so we traced out all of the butterflies I think that might have been the hardest part just because like I had no idea what I was doing and it was really hard to see the pencil marks so the moment of truth is gonna be when I outline it if it looks like or if it doesn't we have the colors here I decided I was gonna do blue ombre so that's what we're gonna go with all right so I have decided I'm gonna do one shoe off camera because I'm doing the exact same thing so right now we're focusing on mr. left shoe right here and praying that everything goes well um so I guess we're just I'm gonna grab like the tiniest brush I have in here. We got a lot of tiny ones. Oh, I'm scared. All right, so we're just gonna try to outline the black the best we can at first. All right. Okay, I'm shaking. It's weird because there's like all these ridges you have to worry about, you know? So, oh, I'm freaking myself out here. This is like a shoe, guys. Like I spent $90 on these, okay? If this turns out horrible, I'm gonna be really sad. Sorry if I don't talk. 
um, like at all this whole video because this is absolutely terrifying and I just don't want to mess up. I was also going to do roses, but <gasps> I did not just do that. I need to be more careful. I was going to do roses as well, but then I decided not to. Sometimes I feel like these brushes really don't get like a good point to them. Like I need like an edge brush, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna have to put music over this and like speed it up, the parts that I'm not talking. of outlining what is happening of outlining the last butterfly on the left shoe and my hand is like going like this and I think I'm just nervous I need to chill out in conclusion Ugh. this is why I like painting with like music on because it like soothes me yeah, I probably should have just outlined this in Sharpie. All right, we have the outlines done. Oh my God, why did that take so long? So now what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is fill in the blue. So this is kind of how I did this one. I did the outline and then I did the blue ombre on the inside and then I did the black outlines again and then I did the white dots. But how I'm gonna do the black outlines instead of doing with the paint, I think I'm gonna wait till the paint dries and do Sharpie. So it's a lot cleaner and lines are thinner because this was kind of like jacked. But that's my plan. So all I gotta do, the blue is gonna be easy. It's gonna be the fun part. We're gonna do the light blue on the inside. So we're starting with the inside, doing the light blue, trying not to mess up the outline too much, but also knowing that, you know, we can redo the outline, Katie. It's not that big of a deal. Mind you, this is not like leather paint, so I don't even know how these are gonna hold up, like completely being honest. This is so fun, like, but this takes a lot of patience and concentration and carefulness. So like kudos to the people that actually do this and like make a business out of it because doing this like every day would just not be good for my mental health. Next up, we're going for the mid blue. So we're gonna try to ombre this the best we can. Okay. I can't believe I have like six more butterflies to do after this one. Hard, really hard with these creases. I will say that. So the scheme I have figured out is to brush the brush off of the excess paint to blend it with the, the lighter blue, you know? And then kind of wait till it dries to like bring it up more. That's what I've figured out. That's my little schemey scheme. So there's the first two colors of ombre and I'm gonna have serious back problems after this video because I have to slouch down like this for like five hours also guys I want to mention sorry if my lips are like black and blue they're still bruised from getting my filler um so yeah so this is the last color and then I'm gonna do the others and then we can wait for them to dry and then we could do the outlines again and it's gonna be a fun time look at that This is another moment of silence. But look how fire, fire! This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this butterfly on camera, do the other ones off camera, come back after they're dry, do the outlining, do the white, because I might need to run to CVS to get a Sharpie. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of like a paint with me, right? Like in, in a way. So if you find paint with me is therapeutic, hopefully you find paint with me on my shoes. Therapeutic. Ta-da! Okay guys, so here's the dealio. I am gonna do the other two butterflies, but when I come back, this shoe will be dry and Hopefully I have a Sharpie in hand and we can start the finessing part, the part that really matters, the part that's gonna pull it together and make it look like, you know, wearable. Oh! Hello everyone.
everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh, oh. oh. here's the update. I finished both of the shoes, painting them wise, you know, like the blue. So both are done. Um, so now I'm gonna re-outline and then I'm gonna paint the white. So I'm using this picture or this video I found on Pinterest that I screenshotted. Boom. Alright, so we're gonna try to do that with all of the butterflies. I'll do one, maybe two on camera, you know how it goes. Got some Sharpies from Target. So I'm gonna start by re-outlining the outlines just to make sure like everything's nice and squared up and even and pretty. So I guess like doing this over paint is kind of like f with the marker, but I'm gonna have to hold on a little bit longer. Oh my God, should've got like an eight pack. Maybe I should do a little paint here. On this bottom part at least. Maybe maybe I am just gonna paint it. I just don't wanna like mess it up, you know? Ta-da! Now we're nice and outlined. So I'm gonna do that with these ones real quick. Or everything. And then, and then we will be on to um, drawing the lines. All right guys, so I finished the outline. It's looking real nice and clean now. And I also added the little antennas and turn on. Now it is time to add the lines. So I'm using this as the reference, okay? So we got a couple lines to do and then we got a couple white dots to do. Oh, okay, this is, this is a lot of work. All right, let's start with this one. This line starts here and goes to like right here. So we're gonna try that. There we go. Let's see if we could do it again. Bada bing, bada boom. It's just really hard with these creases, you know? We're working on it, okay? We're doing it. take the other one and we're going to do these tiny lines which are going to be the death of me. Ah! Now I'm going to do this swoop. This one looks hard though. Like I might, these are thin lines. I might have to do sharpie. I don't know what to do. This is really hard. Okay. I can't use sharpie. Sharpie's simply not working. So that's what it looks like. How's it looking on camera? Cause in person, not too great personally. So now I need to like thicken the lines in these certain areas where the dots are gonna go, but it just looks really hard to do that. I can't believe I have to do this six more times. Why do butterflies have to be so symmetric? Boom! And then the top, ah! Oh! Then we do like these weird squigglies over here. That's way too long for one. Way too long. Well, time to repeat. <laughs> We're back again, guys, and I have the outline of the outlines done. So this is what we're looking like. Now it's time for the final, final step, which I think should pull it all together because I kind of feel bad about after doing the outlines. I feel like it looks bad. Maybe not from far away, but when you look at it like up close, it's not the best job. Um, But it, it, it's just really getting frustrating. And the small ones were hard and the Sharpie was dying and it was just a lot of work. Okay, so we're gonna do the tiny dots. And I'm going based off of this, so it kind of just, they're just like random. 
And then we have a whole bunch on the outside, which I will do next. So they go like all down the outside, apparently. That's what we're doing, adding little polka dots. Fun, this one's, this part's fun, okay? Two polka dots. Voila! Okay, other side. Let's not get carried away. butterfly fully completed so that's what it looks like with the dots um pretty nice we're gonna do the other one one big one one big one and then the tiny tiny twos which is really hard on this small one you guys i can't believe we're like finally at the end this is literally i started at 12 it's now six o'clock so yeah okay one more on the shoe and we're good to go the bigger ones, even though they're easy, scare me because like they're so out there that any mistake I make, you can just see them bright and clear. You know what? I think like this is better than if I were to buy them because it's like when you do it yourself, you appreciate it more, you know? So I think I'm gonna take a lot better care of these shoes. Look, there's one! Okay, so from like a distance, they look good. All right, next one. We're done! Oh. <gasps> I wanna cry! How do people do this and sell it for like a living? Now that I think about it, like 200 for these is so cheap considering- well, offers to buy them if you sell them? No! I'm sorry, I can't sell these you guys. They're just, they took too much work and I, Probably am never ever gonna paint my shoes ever again just because I don't know it might have been a lot easier if I did like anything else besides a butterfly but that sh took a lot of work and my knees hurt and my back hurts and my camera's gonna die so let's do a final final look at it speed this up real quick uh, because I don't want my camera to die but that's pretty much it and those were the shoes and it took a long six hours five hours but you know it was worth it now I have these as a keepsake memory <laughs> probably never gonna do it again I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please smash that like button please please for all this work I put in and subscribe down below and don't forget to press the notification bell to get notified every time I upload and to become part of the notification squad hashtag Rose Gang. So that is it for today. Finally, this took way longer than I expected. I mean, I knew it was gonna take long based off of my paint with me's, but like this was next level. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win.